Nigerian born gospel artist Moses Bliss, the record label owner of Spotlight Nation, has always faced several controversies, and a new controversy has come hard for the gospel artist. Many are saying the reason why Moses Bliss has been experiencing a lot of attack lately is because of he married a non Nigerian woman, which is Mary Bliss. How true is that? You're welcome to the channel. I'm Ami React over here. I do just, I do reactions and all that good stuff. Kindly do well by liking the video. Kindly do well by subscribing to the channel. Gospel artist Moses Blaze this morning took to his Instagram page saying, Happy birthday, sir, Frank Rich Boy. What an incredible and irreplaceable gift you have been over the years. I'm thankful to the Lord for blessing us with you in our generation. Thank you for the love you have for me and my family. Thank you for being so dependable. Welcome to the best days of your life. God is multiplied over your life in Jesus' name. Amen. I love and celebrate you immensely. Today is Frank Edward, who is also known as Frank Rich Boy's birthday. Moses Bliss took to his Instagram page to wish the gospel artist happy birthday. You all know that um, Frank Edward and Moses Bliss, you know, the light of Sinaj, the light of Adai, he used to, you know, perform in Christ Embassy where they will have this uh, Love World Singers program, Love World Singers event. And I believe this was where the both brothers met and, you know, groomed this friendship that they have now grown and, you know, have for each other once more please tell frank edward happy birthday in the comment section this is not where we are going to people have been criticizing moses bliss london show which is the bliss experience london which is supposed to hold on the 16th of august 2024 many have been saying that this show is not supposed to be ticketed as a gospel show which i have spoken about severally on this channel saying that Gospel artists are allowed to have ticketed shows. Why? Because these shows, they are not going to host them with their own personal money. It will definitely be paid for. Yet, people are still coming at Moses Blaze saying, why is he having a ticketed show? The light of Sinatch just had a show and she even sold out over Wembley, which we came here to celebrate and nobody is talking about the show is being ticketed. Why? Because yes, Sinatch is not going to rent over Wembley with, with, with empty pocket. She's going to, you know, rent it with money. Nobody is talking about that. Everybody is congratulating Sinatch. But why is it that when it comes to Moses, please? People always have something negative to say. The light of, of, of Mercy Chimo, the light of so many gospel artists in here in Nigeria usually have ticketed shows but instead of people to come at them they tell them congratulations and support their shows why is moses bliss always picked out to be you know talked on and like i said earlier moses bliss carries something that is the devil knows he's, he's a threat to his kingdom that's why he's always coming for him now let's read comments this one says tickets to come and worship god no Difference between you guys and the secular singers. There is nothing but entertainment. This is nothing but entertainment, not praising God. Just make it clear. Wishing you a successful show. This word, this comment we brought from his own comment section. Even as at this time around, people are still asking Moses Bliss that is he now a secular artist? Why is he, you know, having a ticketed show? And many people came for this person in Moses Bliss comment section which I'll be reading to you. Now, people are saying that the reason why people are coming at Moses Bliss, and now Nigerians have been accused, saying that they are the ones coming at Moses Bliss because Moses Bliss married a Ghanaian woman. How true is that? How true? People are saying because of the beef Nigerians and Ghanaians have, that is why they are always coming for Moses Bliss, for not marrying a Nigerian. Let me read this comment. This one says, same comment. If you don't have anything to say, please keep your mouth shut, I beg. This one says, I'm not sure, but usually the tickets are free. 
The reason for the ticket is that the UK halls are not like Ninja venues. Everyone that goes into the hall must be accounted for. Secondly, in UK, they don't want to exceed the capacity of the hall. There are reasons for these are the reasons for the ticket in most UK concerts. Hmm. This one says, Who is not selling tickets is the venue for your father. Please leave them alone. Go and ask your pastor if he accepted invitation for free. This one says, all that artists sell tickets and it's okay. When it is Moses Bliss, it's a problem. What has he done to you people? This one says, he married a virtuous, smart, beautiful, non-Nigerian woman. It seems to be his crime these days. Hmm. This one says, when you finish crying, let me know. This one says, if that is the case, then it's okay. Thanks for the clarification. People, do you think it is a Nigerian and Ghanaian beef that is facilitating this drama or this rancor that is you know happening around moses please to me moses please is not the only gospel artist to marry a non-nigerian woman theophilus sunday married a jamaican woman and i've not seen anybody come for him tim godfrey i'm not sure tim godfrey married a nigerian woman i heard he married um an american lady and nobody is coming for him Let's read this comment first. This one says, you can as well sponsor them. The air tickets for gospel artists on board, hall fee, instrument and ushers, hotel and accommodation, inland transport. I'm sure if you're able to sponsor them, you can have a free concert. Let us not be mean to Moses, okay? Let's be very realistic. I'm sure that this is not the first time that you're in of a paid gospel concert. The gospel is free, but cost of spreading it is never free. But in spite of that, they still try very hard to have free concerts. He had one in Ghana and his home recently. And you still expect him to fly all these artists to London with all the costs involved to have another free concert. Thank you! When he had the free one in Lagos, nobody said anything. When he had the free one in Ghana, nobody said anything. Everybody was quiet. You all were quiet. You were quiet. So like I said, I don't think it's because Moses Bliss married a non-Nigerian woman. Because there are so many gospel artists that married women that are non-Nigerians. I just feel that there's something about, about Moses Bliss that the devil knows that this one is a terror to my kingdom. And that is why he's always, always, always sending people to get at him. And these are the things that will make him stronger. Because what the Bible says that if you want to serve God, if you want to spread the gospel of Christ, you will face persecutions. And I feel the kind of persecutions Moses Bliss is facing now, which is building him for the journey ahead. There's this song, um, Eli J. Sang, where he said, In spite of all, my faith is standing strong. In spite of all. You know that song? Go on, go on, go on, listen to that song. In spite of all, my faith is standing strong. So I want to encourage Moses Bliss, I want to encourage his wife that in spite of this all, let his faith continue to stand strong. Let him continue to remain an army for Christ. Let him continue to carry God's gospel in his head like wildfire. And forget about what people say. Because the people that are doing this, um, this, this evil, they cannot even come out and tell somebody God is good. So when you see somebody come out and say God is good, allow them. My people, that is just it. May God help us all. Feel free to drop your own opinion to the comment section. I will... Do all to like, do all to subscribe. I will definitely see you in my next one, guys. Bye.